Bill Watterson is a retired American cartoonist and the author of the comic strip Calvin and Hobbes, which ran between 1985 and 1995. Due to its popularity, he was able to expand on the normal size of the Sunday comic strip and newspapers. Hi everyone, Ms. Schlarman here, and today I want to talk about cartooning. And uh, like Bill Watterson, he was a famous cartoon artist who did Calvin and Hobbes. Um, there's tons of cool people that are cartoonists. But when I think of cartoons, I have a tendency to think of like storytelling, okay? So Calvin and Hobbes kind of has that storytelling area and they're like in sections. So as you notice, what I'm doing here is I'm folding my paper into tiny little squares and that's gonna help me kind of figure out my storyline. And as I'm going through, I have my paper kind of already self-guided. I didn't have to use a ruler. You could, if you didn't want to have fold marks in your pencil, uh, in your thing, you could use a ruler and, you know, pencil it all off. But <clears throat> I think folding helps a lot, keeps it a little simple. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in a Sharpie. I don't want anyone drawing in a Sharpie. You should always draw first with a pencil. That way you mess up, you can fix it. Not to mention that when you're drawing with a pencil and you're coming up brainstorming, you know, your ideas might be different. So I, I'll tell you a secret. I already brainstormed a lot and I have a sloppy copy and you want to see it? It's right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Did anyone read it? Cause it might ruin the story as we're starting to go. So I have my sloppy copy. It's over here. Can you read it? Oh, uh, went out real quick. Okay, so I'm going to draw it in a Sharpie so that you guys can see it. What I'm doing first is my first quadrant is going to be larger. This is going to be like the name of my of my cartoon. So you're going to come up with that kind of idea. And I'm just going to... And you know I love sound effects. I think they make a big difference. And they just make everything just more you know, fun and, and I can kind of like go with it. Okay. So here I've got two eyes. Okay. And then I'm going to have, I need, I need big eyebrows, right? Two big eyebrows coming over, looking surprised. And then I'm going to go over here and it's going to be looking like a paint splatter. So here's eyes almost looks like a monster, but really they're, they're dripping off in paint. That's what I'm going with. And then I'm going to have it. I by art. That's the name of my comic. Okay, so here we go. I spy art. And then you can think like my next one, maybe I have two quadrants. Maybe it's one, two, it divided up. Maybe they're singular. Maybe they don't have a border. Maybe they do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take two because the first one I kind of want to set my plot for my storyline. Okay. And then over here, I just want to get my characters introduced. So I'm going to have a, a person, okay? And here's the face, here's the eye, and then this is going to be, have long hair, okay? And then I'm just going to put them on. I'm just going to make a funny-looking stick figure, okay? There, <laughs> the funny-looking stick figure, okay? And then I'll give her some hair here, and then over here, I'm going to write, hi, Bob. I don't know why I choose Bob. I'm just going with Bob. I'm going to make it coming out of her. So I'm going to put my little, my story bubble around. And then over here, I'm going to put Bob. This is Bob. I'm just doing stick figures. Why not? And he says, hi, Zoe. I want to name her Zoe. And I'm going to put little bubbles around here. So there's there's my my characters. And of course we need to set it as a scene. So I'm just going to put a horizon line back here so that kind of like, oh look, they're meeting. They're about ready to give each other, you know, air high fives because of the social distancing. <laughs> okay. So then here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make another little quadrant. Okay, here's my next one. And over here, I'm going to do a close-up of Zoe. And here's her big nose. And then down, and then her mouth comes open. 
and then here's her neck, and then I'm gonna give her her eye, and then she's got her crazy hair, and it's gonna say, wanna? Cause you can use slang and stuff, cause it's cartoon. Wanna find some art? question mark and I'm not going to put a bubble around it because we zoomed in and you can kind of mix it up a little bit and then over here I'm going to put another one around so I got another little quadrant and I'm going to say did you ask me now I'm using all capitals kind of for handwriting purposes, you don't have to, but you do want to make sure it's legible, okay? Did you ask me if I had to <laughs> fart, question mark? And then I'm gonna draw Bob over here, there he is. And then he's gonna be sitting over here going, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. Okay, I shouldn't crack my own self up that much. But anyhow, so there's that. And then over here, I'm going to make it real big. And I'm going to make it kind of like a box letter. N O. And then I'm going to put like, okay, here's the, the bubble. So I'm going to put the bubble out. Notice I did not use the box around it. Because I wanted it to be like, no! Oh, right she's screaming it out there that's Zoe screaming no and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna box this one to separate it because with everything else box that one kind of creates its own little box with the bubble makes it accents and then I'm gonna put okay let's find some art and then this bubble I'm going to give it a little variety by going off the page and then of course over here you know I'm going to get the plaster Bob he's in there he's like okay let's find some art and then over here I'm not going to square it off but I'm going to do <laughs> oh I just had it okay all right so here's Bob okay I've got Bob Bob's just a stick you know and he's got his arm and he's pointing. He's pointing that way because then here's the horizon line to give us some basis. And then on the floor, and then over here is a bird flying by. Can you want to figure out what I'm going to do? Birds flying by. And then it fell. <laughs> it's a little big. Maybe my, my bird poop's a little big there. So anyhow, so here's the bird. Okay, let's find some art. And then a bird flies by. Poops on the floor, and then I'm going to box this one off, okay? Kind of take that one off, and I go, <laughs> I think bird poop. <laughs> okay, that's what comics are supposed to make you giggle. Bird poop is art, and then exclamation point. And then I'm going to put down here, well, Bob looks comment. Look, and I, I'm changing font at the, oops, I'm running out of room. So maybe we should do this on, on purpose. We'll do a little splatter, like Jackson Pollock, right? <laughs> a little funny. Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna box this one out because that one didn't have a box. So I wanna keep it a little bit straight, straighter. And notice you can curve your boxes or you can make them straight. Okay, probably wanna be consistent. So if I kept with the curve here, I probably should have curved all of these, but I'm trying to show you different stuff. Okay, then of course you're gonna have Zoe responding. And what do you think Zoe is gonna respond with? 
Do you think she's going to be happy about the bird poop as art? Let's see. That's not, and I'm going to underline it for emphasis, art. And then I'm going to have like, you know, the little word bubble. <laughs> and then I feel like it's been one quadrant, one quadrant. I want to balance it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this one into a two quadrant. So I've got that there. And then I'm going to put Bob over here. You know Bob. And I'm going to put, sure, it is just use your imagination. Oh, just use your imagination and then like draw a really cool looking like bird poop splatter. That kind of looks fun. Oh, I should have made it look like a dinosaur or something. Oh, that would have been fun. Oh, maybe I still can. Oh, there we go. There we go. You know, maybe it's bird splatter, but it looks like something. Using your imagination. And then over here, we're going to have, I'm going to box this one off again, keep it all balanced. And of course, we have to have, you know, Zoe responding. And Zoe is, okay. And then it's going to say, I guess, not completely sold on it, but I'm going to put any thing could be art. Yeah, depending on how you look at it. And then I'm going to put a little bubble here. And that kind of like mirrors that other one over there that I did. Maybe I'll do one there. Okay. So there's my story. Ready? Let's look at it. Welcome to I Spy Art. And then it goes over here. It says, hi, Bob. Hi, Zoe. Want to find some art? Did you ask me if I have to fart? <laughs> no. Okay, let's find some art. And then Bob found some art. <laughs> I think bird poop is art. Look at the splatter. <laughs> That's not art. Sure it is. Use your imagination. <laughs> kind of looks like dinosaur. I guess anything could be art. Zoe concedes. Okay. Happy ever after. Now, let's color it. I'm going to go in fast motion. This is your story. You can set it up any way you would like to. Change the different quadrants. Depends on how many lines you have in your story. And then think about your craftsmanship. Always remember the entire page and how it comes together. Take your time. Brainstorm. You've got this.